NSW Treasurer Daniel Mookie presented a budget update to Parliament, warning that the state's finances are unlikely to run a surplus as expected. Highlights Treasurer Daniel Mookie says inflation is affecting the state's bottom line treasurer. Daniel Mookie says inflation hits state's bottom line a casino tax hike is forced in New South. Wales a casino tax hike forced in New South Wales the Crown and the Star can expect them to take effect in August previous estimates show deficit of 7.1 billion in the next fiscal year but a return to surplus of 300 million in 202425 the following year Mr Mookie said on Tuesday it would be very difficult to reach these figures now I want to be clear about the fact that it's very very difficult to overbudget. In its financial statement, it said inflation has triggered a revaluation state assets, including schools, hospitals and roads, and that beginning this July, we will see the cost depreciation increase by hundreds millions dollars a year. The treasurer told parliament that this would increase the deficit. Mr. Mookie says budget booms on major infrastructure projects including Metro City and Southwest, will require at least $2 billion more from the budget. There is also a TAFE funding gap of $169 million. Mr. Mookie said next year's funding allocation has been reduced by the previous government from $2 billion to $1.8 billion. We will discuss issues related to TAFE, he said. Star Casino will see tax increases later in the year. Earlier on Tuesday, it was revealed that a tax increase for Sydney casinos that will take effect on July 1st has been postponed to August last year. The previous state government announced plans to raise tax rates on the Crown and the Star in a move that was projected to raise $364 million over three years. The announcement caused Star Entertainment's share price to plummet adding to what CEO Robbie Cook called rich problems for the beleaguered casino giant. Speaking on ABC Radio Sydney this morning, Mr Mookie said that although the Perotet government has budgeted for the new rates, they remain illegal. He said the delay was necessary because his predecessors had not contacted casinos about the changes. At no point did they engage with the specific businesses affected by this. He said, these businesses are having to reform their business models to be fully compliant with the law. Mr. Mookie said he has been meeting with casino leadership teams since he became treasurer. They have a difficult task ahead of them in getting their social licenses back. We are talking to them about how to implement these regulations in a way we can see if we can minimize the impact on employment. Star Entertainment Group welcomed the decision saying the former government's proposed tax increases were unsustainable and flawed in their design. Description to ASX. A Crown Resorts spokesperson said in a statement that it continues to engage with the NSW. Government on Prop. 